what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel hey today I want to do something different and I want to do a quick review on this wildwood um, it's called a wildwood car roof cargo basket or cargo carrier I uh, purchased on Amazon um, and this uh, roof basket as I call it it fits on top of your existing uh, uh, roof roof rack and just clamps on there really easily uh, I got this on Amazon for 179 about 180 bucks and that included um, the uh, cargo netting and also two ratchet straps which are really nice um, the cargo netting fits perfectly over that comes with all the clamps and stuff or the clips and uh, fits really neatly over the uh, the basket to hold on hold down all your stuff um, one of the biggest complaints that I saw on Amazon from really majority of the different uh, cargo carriers was uh, wind noise and so I'm going to tell you how to get rid of that wind noise and um, uh, uh, just you know basically eliminates, eliminates that almost 100% so anyways uh, let's take a quick look up on top of the car and I'll show you what I'm talking about all right climbing up here on the roof you can see this wind deflector um, one of the things about this wind deflector when we first put this on we had a really kind of weird uh, vibration noise um, I took that off and that noise went away um, so uh, to solve that problem I got some uh, just some small quarter inch uh, uh, foam tape put that on the back uh, where these mount here uh, see right here where these mount I put a, a strip on each side of the screws on all six of these and that eliminated that vibration noise. This is a pretty stiff uh, steel plate. It's all powder coated and such. Um, but there was some vibration that was created as you go down the road, especially on, on highway speeds. Uh, a little bit of foam tape uh, in this area eliminated that noise completely. And as you can see, the rack, uh, it's very well built, all powder coated, like I said. Um, really sturdy, has 150 pound carry capacity, clamps on to your roof rack, your existing crossbars with these clamps. Um, the only kind of downsize, the only downside is the screws on these U-bolts uh, uh, stick up quite a bit. Uh, so I guess depending on your, your roof rack height and such, um, this could be an issue. I might end up cutting these, cutting these off a little um, so they don't stick up quite so much uh, comes with this hardware everything you need to mount this um, as you can see really nicely built really sturdy steel uh, as far as the wind noise goes uh, as far as this wind noise um, it really only comes from one thing and that's from air blowing not just over the rack but actually through the rack and uh, on these roof racks when they weld this top rail is when you weld this top rail onto the crossbars and stuff they're not welded fully around um, let me show you down here all right so when they weld these pieces to the top these aren't fully welded around um, the, the pipes so this kit comes with a um, the kit comes with this anti-rust sealant as they call it that's just a tube uh, plain white tube has a little applicator that goes on the tip here um, the stuff's kind of thin so when you you want to cut a very little bit off the tip very small very small hole uh, I cleaned this out after using it so I can use it again if I need to uh, but anyways you want to take this sealant and go around all of these um, all those connections so before you put the rack on the roof after you assemble it you want to flip this upside down and go through and seal all these uh, joints all these joints because these are like three or four spot welds that go around it so you want to seal all those joints all right so, so that's the first thing you want to do make sure everything is sealed that'll prevent wind from um, air from blowing through the tubes secondly what you want to do is everywhere there's connections all these connections here one on the back on that side and then also on the other side everywhere there's a connection you want to put some sealant and then lastly on these little tubes right here there's one here two 
three, four. Um, these kind of fit over these pipes, just hold them together, put sealant on each end, and these will slide a little bit, like a quarter inch. Slide it one way, put sealant around it, slide it back the other way, put sealant around it, and then center it. That'll uh, uh, that'll seal air from blowing through these tubes. Uh, I didn't seal these center connections, but that doesn't seem to be an issue as wind is blowing, you know, across the roof this way. So anywhere there was, like I said, connection here, connection there, and then all the tops of the rails, all, all the way around. And that'll stop that wind noise 99%. Um, um, also a nice thing about this, um, the gap back here for the antenna fin. Uh, just be careful when you're putting the rack onto your vehicle that you don't hit this. It does stick up a little bit, uh, but it fits nicely between those two bars. Uh, you can see I sealed here. I'll show you a close up. Sealed those um, and sealed up underneath, like I said, everywhere you go. So there you go. That's kind of a quick review of the Wildwood cargo basket to fit on top of any vehicle. Uh, you do need the crossbars on your existing roof rack. Um, for this to work, if you don't have a roof rack, there's other options that you can purchase roof racks. But this is kind of the cargo basket, it fits on top. Really well built, really well packaged when it came in. Um, so I think you'll be happy with that. And do those few things and you'll eliminate uh, all that wind noise. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.